Good morning, Pre-K. How are you guys doing today? Happy Tuesday. Today we are going to read Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. Oliver Jeffers is the author, so he wrote the book. Um, I picked this book because I feel like we're probably all feeling a little bit stuck right now. And it's a little funny, so I thought maybe this would be a good one to read today. I hope you enjoy it. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one, and unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch. Mitch is this cat right here. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. I'm sure you can guess what happened. What happened to the ladder? It got stuck. It got stuck. The ladder was borrowed from his neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried... <clears throat> a duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. This tree must be getting pretty full. The family car to knock down the front door, the milkman to knock down the, the family car, and orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat, a rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> a lighthouse to knock down the, ho the house no longer across the street, a curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. <clears throat> And they all got stuck. Ugh. Look at how full that tree is. Oh my goodness. Do you think he can fit more in that tree? No. No? A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went. First the engine, followed by the fireman. One by one. They're going to get stuck too. You think they're going to get stuck too? And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely no be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea and went to find a saw. What is a saw? It's like what you use to chop down a tree. He lined it up as best he could. What do you think he's gonna do with it? Cut the tree. You think he's gonna cut the tree down? Mm -hmm. And hurled it up in the tree. He threw the saw in the tree. Mm -hmm. He didn't use it to cut the tree down. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite had come unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying it the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. What is he forgetting? The fireman? Maybe. And here's his tree with all the things that are stuck in it and it says, Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. So the fireman's going to try and find a way to get them down the tree. I hope you guys liked that book today.
Aubrey is going to work on drawing a picture of a tree with her favorite things stuck in it. And Callie's going to work on drawing a picture and writing about a tree with her favorite things stuck in it. I would love to see your pictures if you have, if you can draw a tree and put some of your favorite things in it. I hope you guys have a great day. I miss you so much. Bye.